This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a Neuralink placed in each side of his brain. The question on everyone's mind, how did this monkey get a Neuralink brand deal on its first video? Neuralink just announced its new business model. They're gonna represent monkey influencer Twitch streamers. <laughs> Million views in like 10 hours, this is a lucrative business. So Elon said back in July, 2019. You know, monkey has been able to control the computer with his brain. Just, yeah. And we finally have footage of the monkey playing Pong, of all things. That's definitely an Elon idea. One of the things the Neuralinks allow Pager to do is to play his favorite video game, Pong. That is not a monkey taking bong hits. It does look like he's filleting the computer. That thing in his mouth is a straw giving him a banana smoothie whenever he does something right in the video game. I think I would be way better at video games if people gave me banana smoothie every time I did something right. I don't get any positive reinforcement when I play video games. My girlfriend doesn't like it. The 13 year olds I'm playing with think that I suck and should kill myself. That looks like a stress-free video game experience. I want that. To control his paddle, Pager simply thinks about moving his hand up or down. Okay, so they shove some Neuralink, two Neuralinks apparently, in this tiny monkey head and they say you can see where the hair hasn't grown back right there and then they trained him with this joystick to move it around so the ball hits the block the Neuralinks in his head are wirelessly sending the signal to this phone app they paired his brain with the phone and because we now have extremely powerful ai it's able to find patterns in this mess of data. That means nothing to us, but an AI looks at that and goes, oh, he's moving right, or he's moving up or down or whatever. Left is the only <laughs> other one there. Then they unplug the joystick and the monkey's playing just with its mind. This game does seem like a simpler concept to understand than Pong, which is maybe why it took them so long to show us the monkey. I bet Elon was like, no, we're not showing the monkey until it's playing the classic game of Atari Pong. It's monkey playing Pong or we're not doing it. But Elon, we can get him to do this. No, no, no. Monkey playing Pong. But the monkey can play Pong and it's good at it. Look how long it plays for. It's not magic. The reason Neuralink works is because it's recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. Our goal is to enable a person with paralysis to use a computer or phone with their brain activity alone. As you can see, Pager is amazingly good at mind pong. He's focused and he's playing entirely of his own volition. I mean, he's addicted to banana smoothie and he's locked in a pen, but I'll give it to you, sure playing of his own volition. I am just as impressed with this monkey's Pong skills as I am with Neuralink for letting it play with its mind. I had no idea monkeys could play Pong. Elon announced the video in this tweet, monkey plays Pong with his mind. A monkey is literally playing a video game telepathically using a brain chip. He followed it up with a few other tweets saying, the first Neuralink product will enable someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs. It's crazy to think that people who are completely paralyzed could get a Neuralink and at least for a little while be the most dominant esports player or software engineer or video editor or dominate any field that requires a computer and a brain. Anyone using fingers to do the same job is gonna feel handicapped. How many people will break their neck just to compete? And look at the lag. There's like zero lag. Look at it. This is not anything like the EEG headsets that you've seen people demonstrating and playing video games with where they kind of have to think for a while and it doesn't always work. You try to play Cyberpunk with one of these EEG BCIs and you won't get past the first level. The lag is horrendous. But this is a high bandwidth brain interface. And if a monkey can do this with it, just imagine what a trained human can do. Later versions will be able to shunt signals from Neuralinks in brain to Neuralinks in body or motor sensory neuron clusters, thus enabling, for example, paraplegics to walk again. Fixing paralysis 
with a Neuralink would be awesome, but I'm guessing eventually we'll be able to regrow spinal cord tissue and maybe we'll be able to grow limbs. But what if you could get a robotic limb that can do things your normal limb can't do and you'd rather have that to replace your missing arm than have it regrown. We're headed for a pretty crazy future. It doesn't seem like that big of a leap from a monkey playing Pong to me think tweeting or think texting. Just don't have your Neuralink enabled to press send on your text. You want a layer of protection from yourself. People are gonna get Neuralink and all of a sudden be sending a lot more 2 a.m. texts you up. Or like, oops, I accidentally attached a daydream I had about her. She's either gonna be flattered or I'm going to lose my career. Apple can't even get their AR glasses working well enough to launch. By the time they do, you'll probably just be able to get a Neuralink. But that could be a good combination because it's gonna be some time before Neuralink can write information into your brain and implant something in your vision. So there might be a long period of time between when Neuralink is available for sending thought information before you're able to actually receive thought information. So during that time, being able to control a set of AR glasses with your mind, that could be a killer app. A big factor in the adoption of new technology is getting it down to an affordable price. That's what I spoke about in a recent video about the military's deal with Microsoft for HoloLens. How do you think Neuralink is gonna get the price down? How much would you pay for one? Elon thinks they'll pay for themselves. Look, the cost of, of these brain injuries is, ex is extremely high to society. Um, if you have to take care of somebody or, or they, they need comprehensive medical care or hospice, th this is actually very, very costly to society. So I think the economics of, of solving for that make a ton of sense. Um, and if you enable somebody to you know, contribute, contribute to the economy, I think that the economics of that will, will easily uh, pay for itself. And then uh, in the limit, of course, if, if you want to um, be symbiotic with, with AI, it'd be like, I think it's safe to say you could repay the loan uh, if, <laughs> with superhuman intelligence. Um, I think it's a safe bet. So maybe they don't need to get the price down. What is superhuman intelligence worth? The fact is Neuralink is going to be one of the most powerful technologies humanity has ever had access to. You guys, I cover a ton of tech topics on this channel. Neuralink is one of my favorites, but let me know in the comments if there's a topic you'd like me to talk about. You could support the show by signing up for a crypto debit card that gives you free Spotify and Netflix and 25 bucks. If you guys had a laugh and got some useful information out of it, consider subscribing or becoming a patron like these awesome people. I want to be able to talk to Fonzie with a Neuralink. Yeah, you want that? You want me in your head? Huh? Oh, hey, I forgot to mention, we talked a little bit about prosthetic limbs and I sell a coffee that all the proceeds go to helping kids get prosthetic limbs. It's called BDE Coffee. It's really good coffee. Consider switching.